Welcome to Transmathematica. I'm James Anderson. Today we're going to look at proofs that try to persuade you that division by zero is impossible because zero times zero to the power minus one is not equal to one. Now this is a true statement. Zero times zero to the power minus one is not equal to one, but it doesn't stop you from dividing by zero. The people who present such proofs are mistaken. Now, the proofs are very deceptive. They're very seductive and persuade a lot of people that division by zero is impossible. To arm myself against that deception, I'm going to assume that the proofs are lies, that they're deliberately deceptive. And in that way, I'll be on the lookout for the deception. So let's start with a fact check. As I've said before, division by zero has been possible since the invention of the number zero by Brahmagupta. Brahmagupta published his work in 628 AD. So for the last 1,400 years, division by zero has been possible. Nonetheless, a lot of people today believe that division by zero is impossible. I've spoken about the first two reasons why they might think that. But there are some nasty reasons. It's possible that people are committing scientific fraud. Now, don't worry. In order to commit scientific fraud, you have to be a scientist. And the kinds of fraud that have been perpetrated against transreal arithmetic are to delete information, to take information off websites. And this is the equivalent of burning books. The second kind of scientific fraud is much harder to detect. It's when people claim to have knowledge about division by zero, which they do not have, and then they say that division by zero is impossible. And this is the scientific fraud of trespass. It's the scientific fraud that happens when a scientist claims that they have knowledge that they do not have. And occasionally I've met people who are simply lying about division by zero. They are too embarrassed that they haven't noticed that division by zero has been possible for the last 1400 years. And rather than face up to that fact, they simply lie. Now, there's not much I or anyone else can do about these two sources of people disbelieving in division by zero, except to point out that division by zero is possible. This fact will become more widely known, more widely accepted, and at that point the frauds will be uncovered. Red flags are warnings of danger. Now, the first kind of warning is that these proofs don't usually have a statement of the theorem. They don't say, I'm about to prove that division by zero is impossible. What they do is they start off somewhere, go through a whole bunch of manipulations, and then say, therefore, division by zero is impossible. The problem with this is that you've been listening or reading the proof all the way through. You get to the end. Now you know it's about division by zero, but you've already been seduced. You've already been deceived once. And when you go back to check it, you're likely to fall into the same traps. And another red flag is that these proofs don't have a synopsis of the proof. They don't say this is a proof by contradiction. If they did say it was a proof by contradiction, you would immediately spot the error as you will do in a few minutes. So how does the deception go? We start off by defining that n divided by d equals n times d to the power minus one. And this is true. This is an axiom of real arithmetic. And then they say, if n is not equal to zero, then n times n to the power minus one equals one. And this is true. Oh, this is an axiom of real arithmetic. But the trick is turned by getting you to ignore the fact 
that otherwise, in the else case, anything at all can happen. You can choose what happens when n equals zero. You were told if n is not equal to zero, then n times n to the power minus one equals one. But what if n is equal to zero? You can choose. Transreal arithmetic chooses zero to the power minus one equals zero over one to the power minus one equals one over zero equals infinity. It's that easy to define division by zero. And you were seduced, you were deluded, you were deceived by not considering the alternatives. Be totally brilliant, share and subscribe for more.